What's up friends, Mike again, glad to have you guys back. Welcome to another review where I find awesome things to simplify your life. Today we have a very, very interesting bag here with us. It's by Turret. By the way, they sent this bag in free of charge for me to review, but as always, no one's paying me to say anything good or bad about the bag. Everything that's said in this video is my opinion only. And the interesting thing about this bag over here is that it's not only a messenger bag, it's also a cooler pack and a fanny pack at the same time. It's meant so that when you actually need a cooler, you don't go out buying one these things over here which you use once or twice and leave them in your garage for the rest of the year so instead if you're buying a cooler they want you to use it throughout the year that's why they designed this as a everyday kind of style bag for you we're gonna be going over the build quality the comfort all the features and the use cases to see if this is in fact the right bag for you so the first thing that we're gonna talk about is the build quality of the bag. And the first obvious thing that you'll notice is that it's made of a very shiny material. It's almost like a garbage bag, but it's actually meant to be used as a reflective material so that if you're walking around in the streets at night or use this as a biking bag, it's actually reflective and people can actually see you and not run over you with their car. But anyways, the material also acts as a very water repellent material. So if you're caught in the rain, you're gonna be A-OK -okay because all the zippers over here uses a water resistant seal as well so you're gonna be well protected if rain comes in this way that way that way uh, yeah it's pretty good and then down here it uses a very plasticky material it feels very durable so if you put it on the floor at the beach or wherever it's gonna be a-okay you're not gonna get a lot of scratches you're not gonna get holes in to wash it you just take a towel and wipe it wipe it and <laughs> it's clean so that's what I like about it the most about the material and I'm actually very surprised that they use this grade of material on the bag because I've seen in Patagonia use the same type of material as well and Patagonia bags are like uh, Patagucci you know on the inside what you'll see here is that they use a very waterproof material here as well it's very plasticky and it's made so that if you do use it as a cooler and your ice melts it's not going to leak at all from the bag which is very cool because of that I think this bag is very good as a gym bag as a beach bag as a, a bag that you go for swimming or anything dirty you want to put in because since it's so water resistant repelling you can just like spray it off and then wipe it off with a towel and it's brand new and clean because with bags like these that I have and more I've never had a bag which I can water down and spray and just wash it away so that's something neat about this in here you'll see that it fits a lot of stuff this compartment can hold up to 20 cans of beer drinks or whatever the heck you're into you know but for myself using it as an everyday bag I have my laptop over here and the laptop compartment can fit up to a 15 inch it has this removable padding over here that you can uh, adjust the size and then on the side over here I have my iPad and then I have my notebooks I have my tech accessories I have my headphones and I have my wet naps pack and my water bottle so it fits everything pretty well and on the front part this is where your fanny pack comes in this is the only part that acts as a quick access because as I'll show you later on when you put on the bag uh, you can't really open this part up so over here I actually have my phone, my True Wireless earbuds, and in the front pocket, I have my pens and pencils. So this is nice for quick access where you grab your tissues or lip balm, commuting card or whatever. So that's really good for that. And as I mentioned before, you can also use this as a fanny pack. So this zipper over here detaches the fanny pack itself and it's secured by these two Velcro straps over here. So boom, boom, it works as a individual fanny pack and I gotta say it's pretty comfortable because it uses a mesh back over here so you can breathe and take it while you're running or when you're at a hotel you just want to leave all the bulk behind and take the essentials with you it's very nice I'll put it on right here so you can see what it looks like the buckles are very durable and tough as well there's nothing cheap about this bag I just want to keep mentioning that because uh, I'm so surprised anyways you pull it like this and uh, it fits and they do have this plastic cinch thing that you can put your belts through to reduce the length of it so it's not flailing all around let me do that for you here so that's a lot better but this is what it looks at the front if you're someone who wears the fanny pack like this but anyways on the back it looks like this so it's pretty comfortable I was pretty impressed and the thing is I've always wanted like this combination over here because when I do travel I usually bring a bigger bag like this and fit this bag inside with all my camera gear and uh, when I leave the hotel, I leave my bigger bag at the hotel and only take what I need out, like my camera, my EDC, and uh, stuff like that. So this combination is quite good for the price 
that you're paying for. Anyways, again, I'm not sponsored uh, to say any of this. I'm just saying from my traveling experience, it's actually quite a neat and useful feature. But anyways, the bag looks like this without the fanny pack. It doesn't look empty at all. It's still slick. You just got this zipper thing kind of hanging out. People can't steal your stuff out here if you're commuting and worried about that. The only way to open it again is the top. So when you put it on, the first thing that you'll notice is that this seat belt material belt thing over here is very nice. It's actually two inches thick. So when it presses against your body, it gives enough support that it's not digging into your skin, which I really like. And then you have a device plastic opener thing over here, which you can pull and adjust the size of your belt. It's not that convenient because I keep having to jumping and do that to secure it. It could have been better like my Peak Design bags, but uh, it is what it is. The only thing that I found redundant was this pad strap over here. Uh, it's nice, it's, it's quite substantial, but when you put it on here, you cannot move the belt. You cannot adjust it like so because it actually holds onto it pretty tight. So I end up never using this. It's a nice idea, but not that useful. But to increase the comfort, it actually comes with another belt over here so that you can secure it like that and uh, it's nice and overall the comfort any messenger bag it actually puts a lot of stress on one shoulder only so you will feel that fatigue after a while but because of the material the thickness of the strap I won't say that this bag hurts you it's just the nature of carrying heavy things over time with one shoulder so in regards to comfort I won't carry this all day especially with everything that you just saw in my bag it's quite heavy if you're carrying something that has less weight you might can pull it off but again during the day you're gonna feel it on one side the best you can do to help with that is to actually switch it over like this but I find that the adjustment use is a lot better on the other shoulder because with this you can pull it down and it's fine but then the thing to shorten again you gotta pull it up and it it's a lot more inconvenient and you look like you're having a spasm in the street or you're dancing with your bag. And I forgot to show you, when you put on the bag and flip it over, this is the best way you can access your stuff really quickly. Here, here, you got some pens if you need it. But if you were to access the main compartment, it's very difficult because you gotta flip it forward like this and open it and it's to grab whatever that you need. And then to close it is very difficult. So your main compartment is pretty secure because it's pretty damn hard to get into. And that's because of the structure. There's no shape to this bag. It's very flimsy. And uh, the material surprisingly doesn't really fold or wrinkle or crease. So that's really good and durable. But if they could have only made the zipper out here so I can pull it up like this to get what I need, that would be a lot more convenient. And I know that's just a little thing, but it might be important to some of you who need that really quick access. And you might notice over here that these straps are very long and that's because it can actually hold on to things. So if you have yoga mat, all you have to do is let it out like this, put it under here like so. So it does fit even with something that's this big. So if you're carrying one of those long umbrellas, it's going to work. If you're carrying a lighter mat, it's going to work. But if you're carrying something this heavy, I highly don't recommend it. This is just very uncomfortable. Whew, that was a workout. And the last unique feature about this bag is that you can actually hang it onto your bike. If you want to see what it looks like, it looks like this. And the last thing I have to say about this bag is that as a cooler, it works really well. I put my stuff in for 24 hours and it comes out cool. So there's no worries there. It works perfectly. But the thing you do have to notice is that this bag is quite flimsy. It doesn't have a structure to it. So if you need something to put in your cooler without it spilling, you are going to have to keep this very secure upright like this or just keep it down flat like this the whole time for things that you don't want to crush a cooler like this may actually work better i think it's really good if you're bringing drinks only to the beach along with your towel your sandals and uh, your beach stuff so again this can get quite dirty and you can clean it very easily with the material that's inside so i think it's a lot better for those situations and for myself i would use it for picnics going to the gym but as an everyday carry bag this is really just not as comfortable as i need my stuff to be because i do carry a lot of things and a messenger bag just isn't gonna cut it for me. But if I'm going on a day trip and just quickly putting all my clothes in and my toiletry, my shampoo or whatever, I can just throw everything in and just grab and go. And I would use it for that. So in the end, this does have a lot more use than a normal cooler by itself, but you just gotta make sure you're gonna be okay with the shape of the bag and with what you're putting in the bag. Cause if you're putting food that doesn't wanna be crushed, uh, 
this might not be the best. But for anything other than that, if you're putting in drinks, solid stuff, um, ice, whatever, it's not gonna leak. The material is very durable. It's gonna last you a long, long time. And I mean, for $70, this is uh, like crazy, especially the Indiegogo discount. So again, I think this is definitely worth checking out if you're looking to buy a new cooler with the upcoming summer season and going to the beach and stuff. And this also comes in four different colors. This is black, they have blue, red, and green, I think. So I really hope I helped you guys figure out what this is, what it can do for you, and all the use cases to see if this is in fact the right bag for you to make your life simpler. And if anything has helped you out in this video and you wanna see more and you haven't subscribed yet, please like, subscribe, and turn that notification on to get the latest updates about my channel from YouTube. And that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next review. Bye.